For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Daxter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this problem where you have a 25 kilogram bar that has a center of mass at G. That right off the bat tells us that there is a force right here at G going down, which is the weight. If it is supported by a smooth peg at C, a roller at A, and a cord at AV, determine the reactions at these supports. So we have right here a C. Let's look at C, for example. You know that the this force C, just call it big C, is going to be 90 degrees from this peg. If it's 90 degrees, and the angle that the peg form right here is 30, you know that this angle right here is 30 which makes this angle right here 60 degrees, since the whole thing is 90. So we have B right here at 15 degrees. Okay, let's talk about the reaction. So A is sitting in a roller, so you know that A has a, a Y reaction, no X reaction. And you know that you have right here a tension. That, let's call it B since it's going towards B. So we got that tension at B going that way. So that should be enough for all the reactions. So we're going to start at A because at A we have, if you if you notice, we got two, two uh, things that we don't know, two variables that we don't know, which is A, Y, and B. And, th and then C is completely separate right here, and W we can figure it out. So let's figure out W first. That would be better. W is equal to the weight, which is 25 kilograms, times the acceleration of gravity, which is 9.81 meters per second square. So that is 245.25 newtons. That's the weight. So we got one of the forces. Now we got to figure out C, B, and A, Y. The first thing I'm going to find is C, because since B and A, Y are both acting on the same point, we can do some of the moments at A, and that means that I don't have to worry about B and A, Y, because they're acting on the point where we're trying to find the moments about and we're going to assume that clockwise is positive. The sum of the moments has to be equal to zero. So that is equal to the W, which is basically turning this lever arm right here that goes from A to this point right here. And it's found by doing 0.5 times the cosine of 30, with the angle is given right there that I covered with the arrow. So it's W times the cosine of 30. Actually, it's W. Actually, no. Sorry about that. It's W times the cosine of 30 times 0.5. Sorry, guys, I was a little confused about my notes. The reason why I did W times the cosine of 30 is this. This W has a component going that way and a component going that way, if you look at it this way. X and Y. So we can ignore the component going straight towards the point because that's creating no moment. So the, the moment going this way, forget about it. But the moment going down is creating all the moment and it, it's just found by doing that force which is given by W cosine of 30 since you know that this angle right here is 30 since this angle is 30. So W cosine of 30 times 0.5 because it's turning this lever arm right here. And it's turning it clockwise. Or you could have done it the other way, I was going to do it which was just multiply W by 0.5 cosine of 30. That would have been the same thing. Minus C times 0.7, because C is turning the lever arm 0.5 times 0.5 plus 0.2, which is 0.7. So you have W, and all you're missing is C. So what you do is you solve for C, and you get that C is equal to 151.7 newtons. So now that we have C, now we got to find a Y and B. It becomes very easy. So some of the forces in the X is equal to zero because you know a Y only affects the Y because it only goes up. So BX minus C cosine of 60 is equal to zero. We got C and BX, that means that BX is equal to 75.9 newtons. Now you know that Bx is only the x component of B. You know, B is going that way. So this will be Bx and this will be Y. So I just found Bx to be 75.9. But you have the angle that it forms. You have this angle, 
15 degrees and you have bx which is founded so if you wanted to find b you know that b times the cosine of 15 degrees is equal to bx we have bx so you just solve for b is equal to bx divided by the cosine of 15 so b is equal to 78.5 newtons so we got b the tension of the cord all we need to find now is a y to find by we're gonna find by to find a y is much easier that way it's just b sine of 15 degrees so by is equal to 20.3 newtons and now that you have by the problem becomes cake basically you know that the sum of the forces in the y is equal to zero so in the y we have by going up plus a y minus the weight going straight down plus c sine of 60 and all of that is equal to zero we have by we have the weight we have c you plug them in and you solve for a y and you get that a y is equal to 93.6 newtons so final answer for a y where did i put b final answer for b which is the tension of the cord and final answer for the reaction at c Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.